Class of 2023, Patrick School Center William Patterson is a guy who has flown way under the radar, even from Syracuse basketball experts. Although most 2023 recruits have already committed to their respective colleges, Patterson is still yet to make his decision. We've had Patterson on the show before, and I've been talking to him recently through messages. I'm being told by Patterson that he will be announcing his commitment this April and plans to take a visit to the Orange before then. The last time that I talked to William not on text was last September, recently after he had played in the Syracuse Elite Camp and received an offer from Bayheim and the Orange. Patterson had this to say about Syracuse and where he stands. What about the Orange made you want to make that decision to put them at the top of your list? Mainly because, one, it's in my hometown. Yeah. Two, the coaching staff and everyone else is family. Close relationship, we bond. Like, I don't feel like there would be a problem with anything because me and the coach know each other well. So there's nothing that there's nothing bad that could really happen without him like really knowing because he knows how I move. Yep. Three, a lot of legends and a lot of good people came from there. Yep. And four, I feel like I feel like it's a good place for me to go or settle down. Mm -hmm. Patterson played at Bishop Walsh last season, but now is transferred to the Patrick School. Despite many thinking Patterson is just another tall kid playing basketball for his height, that is not at all the case. Patterson has solid footwork as well as a skilled rebounder when it comes to grabbing the ball off the rim and putting it back. When watching Patterson play, almost any high school player can see not to jump with him as he will dunk the ball whenever he gets the opportunity to. When it comes to the competition Patterson is playing against, it is pretty solid. Patterson is from Brooklyn, New York, but he's played against a few teams in the Overtime Elite League, as well as matched up against guys like Derek Lively of Duke and Ja Jackson from OTE. When it comes to Patterson's recruitment and where he stands, I would be wrong to think Syracuse was not his number one school right now. Patterson received his offer from the Orange after playing in their elite camp, saying Coach Beheim approached him as soon as the camp was over and wanted to personally tell him they were giving him a scholarship. Since I talked to him last September, he hasn't received any other offers, despite saving schools like UCLA have shown interest. Currently, Patterson says his top three more recently have been Syracuse, Oklahoma State, and TCU. I feel like Patterson, being from New York, will also make a big impact on his decision as well. Getting a commitment from William Patterson would be excellent, considering he would be the only 2023 commit we have. I'm not too worried about next year, though, seeing that we have guys like Chris Bell, Malik Brown, Justin Taylor, and Quinier Copeland, who seem to be developing really well. Depending on if Jesse decides to use his COVID year and come back next year or not, Patterson can be a great big if developed even more in his freshman year under Moni Hima and Malik Brown. I'm definitely interested to see where our alumni William Patterson is headed, and I'm obviously crossing my fingers for the Syracuse Orange, even though I know he will do big things no matter where he goes. Although I'm not sure an exact date for Patterson to visit Syracuse, when asked if he will be taking a visit there before his commitment by me through Instagram DMs, he said, quote unquote, yes, of course. Patterson and I are also working on scheduling an interview for after his commitment, breaking down where he picked and why. Make sure to subscribe for more weekly interviews and Syracuse basketball content.